Okay, hi, this is Cam. I had to remake this tutorial. <sighs> Anyways, this will be a tutorial on basic keyframing for beginners. So, if you already know some stuff about keyframing, uh, this is probably a waste of your time. And my dog is rolling around and I can't stop her, so please don't complain about that in the comments, okay? I can't stop her, I can't control dogs. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, I'll be explaining some problems we're right into, um, how to do keyframes, for that matter, um, and stuff like that, yeah, okay. So, let's say, um, like in MMV sometimes, you might see that the scene zooms in a little, like as time goes by, and you're like, wow, that looks so cool, I want to do that, but then you have really no idea how to, so, um, Due to keyframing, I don't know. I can't use smart terminology. Okay, so um, to make it one track ish, like to merge them, you'll go to parent child tracks. Do not ask me how to do that in the comment section. There's a tutorial already on it that I made. Okay, okay, so let's say at the one second mark, I want it to stop zooming in. So what I do is I move it to like the one second mark. Um, I press M on my keyboard to hold my place, it is a marker. Um, a problem you might run into with markers, let's say you're clicking on your timeline, like, hey, I want it to stop here. Like right here, you know, half, like 12 um, frames. And then you click M and you're like, what the heck? There is no marker. What you have to do is you have to actually click on this timeline right here and then click M. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm, I know I'm probably going to get a comment about that. So, anyways. Um, okay, so it held my place. As you can see, I can move around and then I just go back to it later. So, you click this little plus sign and it says create keyframe or insert in parentheses. So, then you just add a keyframe and it's kind of like a timeline. Like, um, what will happen at this point in time? I don't know. Anyways, um, so I want to zoom in a little. So, I'm going to use like the dot as a reference point to where it zoomed in as much. Isn't this picture so cute? <laughs> so anyways, um, I will play it back in slow-mo. Well, you see how it's like kind of zooming in a little? And after the one second mark, it will stop zooming in, as you can see, because that's where it stops. If you want it to continue zooming in, you have to move this keyframe even more to where you want it to stop zooming in. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Um, that is basically keyframing in a nutshell. Um, I'm not really sure if there's anything else you want me to explain about it because that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, a problem you might run into. Uh, I ran into this problem a lot and I would get really frustrated. So, okay. So... Okay, this is what would happen sometimes. Well, let me redo that. Okay, so let's say, hey, I'm gonna like resize this. And then you resize it. Okay. And then when you play it back, it's like, what the heck? It's zooming in. I don't want it to zoom in. Okay, so. Why are you still playing? Okay. So what happened is, well, some of you might have already caught this. You were, um, you had the sync cursor on. That means like wherever you click on your timeline, it will move on this timeline also. So make sure you're like at the exact point where you want it to move or it will not work out very well for you. Anyways, um... That's pretty much all that I can say. There's really not much to it. You just need to um, make sure you get your timing right. Um, that's pretty much all. Uh, I can't remember which one I was doing. Uh, 